Hey there and welcome back to another episode. My name is Sandra. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Lizzo. A little over a year and a half ago, I put out a video um, pretty much just criticizing, you know, the whole body positivity movement and fat acceptance movement, I think they're called. Um, and Lizzo was like one of the actually the the main like character of that video like the protagonist if you like um just because she she prides herself as someone who you know loves being fat she not only talks positively about that she also encourages people to you know be fat or accept their fatness and again you can say, well, I don't see anything wrong with that. The problem is that it becomes a movement and it becomes a trend. You can encourage people to accept themselves for who they are. But if someone's fat and you know that one of the causes, at least in America, one of the main causes of death is obesity, you know, heart, heart disease, um, stems from obesity. You want to encourage them to adopt good and, and healthy lifestyles because you care about people right? Um, I've always had, I've always had a problem with the, the body positivity movement because not only has it become a trend, you see on TikTok people, you know, this is what a fat girl eats in a day. I'm like, boo-boo, your cholesterol and your doctor, your doctors are going to be happy about that. I, I get that you're feeling yourself. I get that you think you are empowering yourself and empowering people, but you're actually doing the opposite. Okay, you're one step closer to an early death. And we, I can pull up the stats on people who have lost your lives at a very, very tender age because of obesity. So it's nothing to take pride in. It's nothing to celebrate. So I actually denounce that. I don't see people encouraging, you know, um, anorexia or, or bulimia because there's nothing to encourage. It isn't pretty. The other side of the coin could be that people obsessively want to be thin, which I just talked about, um, anorexia, but not only people can become, they can start to idolize their bodies. You know, I want to have the perfect shape. I want to have the, you know, the perfect look. You don't want to do that either. I think that we can all find a good balance, your priority. Cause you have what you, God has given you that body. Okay. And you should take care of your body. But I also think that I'm sure you guys would agree with me on this point. Celebrities have a lot of power. Let's just be clear about that. To be an influencer is actually a lucrative job. Like that's a that's something that you can earn money from. It's wild. And think about it, right? It's not a new concept. It's just taking a new, I guess, trendy um outlook to it. But it's always been around. Like the the Troyal Blazers, like they were influencers. Like they started something that other people picked up. But now we all have a responsibility to want to start something that when someone picks that up, it actually betters them, right? And better society, better society at large. That's always been my standpoint. So whether or not you agree that people should be allowed to conduct their lives the way they choose, ask yourself, how does that, that behavior or that choice affect society at large? Because we all have the freedom to do what we want to do, but we also... We also have the moral responsibility, okay, to not, you know, mess up the world, right? If you want to promote something, at least promote something positive. Um, that's, 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 that's my view. That's my take on this, on this issue. Um, and so back to Lizzo, I wanted to do this video, just a reminder that people do change. Like that is a real possibility. Growing up, I used to think that people don't change. They get better or worse, but they don't necessarily change. But I think they change. Now, I'm not saying that Lisa's going to go out tomorrow and put out a video where she is, you know, denouncing fat acceptance and telling people to 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 start losing weight. I mean, I hope she does because she, I want to say she's part of the problem. Like if you've ever promoted something that's detrimental to people's health, you should take responsibility. Like, absolutely. But all of this to say that I am happy that she is hitting the gym and trying to work on her health because that is important, people. Let's stop lying to ourselves if we think that, oh, I can eat a thousand calories a day and I'll still be rocking it. Uh-uh, boo-boo. No, you will not be rocking it. You might be rocking your way to the hospital bed, but you will not be rocking anything aside from that. And let's stop lying to ourselves and thinking that this is somehow empowering. It's not empowering. 
at all. So there are videos of um, an Instagram. You can go on, on her Instagram and you can see Lizzo. You can notice the significant change in her, you know, appearance. And that's, that's beautiful. That should be celebrated. People wanting to, to better themselves, people making good choices that should be celebrated. Anyways, I believe that we owe it to society to promote what is good, but also just, you know, upholding moral standards because it, it not only affects you, it affects everyone. That's what I think. And that is just me expressing my views. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. So let me know. Um, Anyways, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned. Um, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. And if this is your first time here, welcome to the community. Um, and do not forget to like this video, share it, and obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Have a good day, you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Okay, now, bye.